So right now I'm actually partnered with another um, industrial design student and um, we both have a little bit of coding background but not necessarily with um, the Arduino. The Arduino we're using is using the language C++ so um, it's a little bit different than say Jython or something that most uh, industrial design students are used to. Um, so we have the the breadboard Arduino um, coupled together and um, are using an RFID reader to um, detect different uh, RFID tags that we intend to use um, attached to different types of clothing. So on top of the electronics, you're also looking at the system in which the electronics are used in. So if you're dealing with a person who um, is blind or visually impaired, how do they know that this tag should go on this type of clothing? Is there a way like the tag is shaped differently? Like a triangle means yellow, a circle means blue, and so then they can match their clothing and then from there be able to use the device to detect um, what color the clothing is, maybe a style, striped, floral, things like that. So um, blind or visually impaired people can be more independent. Right now we're using an RFID reader um, and trying to hook it up and make it some sort of interactive product with it. Um, our idea is to make a glove that when you tap your pocket it tells you if you have everything in your pocket that you want to leave your house with. So, just trying to get that all <laughs> So, what we're thinking, or what I was thinking when I was making this, we'll separate it into different things. So, this will detect it, and then we can use it to essentially detect what type of, uh, whatever we program it could be. So, if we have this chemical, we we'll use this to detect that chemical. And it'll show up an image on your screen, but we'll use the Arduino in order to have an independent time process and detect the time process. So, basically, we need to mimic it. ID tags, um, which is this one. So um, this element has some ID, so it can recognize specific um, instances or specific um, products or whatever. And then by using that one, we can read the ID. Um, what the, the reader? ID oh, reader. <laughs> so we can read the the. ID of this tag using that reader. So and then with this uh, reader element, we can connect with a uh, uh, digital digital file or digital RAM so that we can connect digital world with the digital world. So that's what we are doing, and we wanna try to indicate that um, sensors using some LED light. So that's what we are doing.